Good evening, reefers. How's everyone doing? As promised, I'm coming at you with another video. Um, just trying to, you know, do things as you know, film as I as I uh, as I do them to my reef. So I kind of falsely turned on the the lights here. Everything's actually sleeping right now. Um, so no, please don't judge me. <laughs> Uh, I am acclimating a leopard wrasse, uh, right now, and I just want to show everybody kind of my process, how I do that. Um, I'm going to give a little shout out right now to a guy, um, by the name of Justin over at Reef Nation, because actually I steal, uh, I stole this idea from him. Um, he actually, and I do as well, uh, acclimate our, uh, wrasses in particular down here in the sump. Um, I have a nice little sand bed area for him. And there are copious amount of copepods uh, down here, which is excellent. Um, so it's kind of a nice spa, low flow, no other fish in here um, to harass it. Uh, if you have any uh, uh, experience with leopards, then you will know that uh, leopard wrasses in particular, this potter's wrasse right here, they're, they're, they're pretty difficult to get uh, to stick to the aquarium life. Um, so I thought I would just uh, show everybody how I did that. So I right now I have it uh, dripping. Um, right now it's been dripping for about, I would say, 45 minutes. Um, this is actually the only fish that I do this to because they, can, they get super stressed out if you just um, acclimate them super quickly by just jump dumping in a, a bunch of water. So I like to uh, slowly uh, drip acclimate it. It's actually an open flow the entire way. Um, but it's still a pretty, pretty low flow. Uh, I do this because if you don't, sometimes they can just uh, go over to the corner right when you introduce them, they start hyperventilating and then they just pass on you for uh, unexplained reasons, probably just out of sheer panic and horror, I'm not sure. Um, so anyways, I like to kind of keep things mellow out and give them the first introduction to my aquarium through my sump. So now that I've, uh, you know, I, I've already temperature acclimated him earlier, um, and then I've been trying to, you know, drip acclimate him now. Now that he is finished drip acclimating here, I'll get rid of this tube here, and then I'll just show you guys uh, how I introduce him here. It's just very simple. I scoop him up with my hand. as gentle as possible. Very nice specimen here. Take a nice quick look at him. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. Now we've had enough of that. I'm going to try to direct him right down here into this little area for him. Uh, you know, just let him settle down on that sand there. Most likely he will bury after a few minutes. Um, we shall see. Maybe I'll try to give him uh, some food before he uh, tuckers down for the night. Who knows? But uh, anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful, and uh, I hope you stay tuned for some more helpful tips on how I have been uh, successful uh, keeping this tank going and thriving and uh, working. So uh, thanks, guys. See you later.